In this video, we'll go through programming the parameters of the Galt G500 variable frequency drive. We'll start off with how to navigate the drive's keypad and access the parameters. Starting at the home page, press the right function key to access the menu. Press down once on the directional pad and press the right functional key again to select the parameter setting. The function code quick settings should be selected already, so press select again. From here, you will be able to quickly get to the parameter in mind. We'll start with the P00 basic parameter functions. Since we're still selecting P00 on the quick settings, we'll press select again to get to specific parameters. Now you should have the last digit highlighted. Press up on the directional pad to show parameter 00.01 and press the right function button to select the parameter. Now that we've selected 00.01, we can see the available options within the running command channel parameter. The drive is set default to keypad controls, but if you wish to control the drive with the terminals, you would press down on the keypad and press select to change the parameter to 1 for terminal operation. To back out of this parameter, press the left function button to return to the previous parameter. Now that you understand how to find and adjust parameters in the G500 drive, we'll discuss commonly used parameters. You can review Chapter 6 of the G500 manual for the entire list of parameters. We'll continue with the first P00 group parameters for the basic functions. .03 and .04 will both adjust the maximum output frequency, which is set by 60 Hz by default. If you are planning on running on a single set speed, the drive will ramp up to the maximum output frequency by default. .05 is used to adjust the maximum speed of the drive. .06 and .07 are used to adjust the drive's output frequency. If you have an analog input for speed control, then you can select value 1 on this parameter. Dot 11 will change the acceleration time, and dot 12 will change the acceleration time, both in seconds. The P01 group parameters is for the start-stop function. Dot 00 will enable the catch a spinning load function that is recommended for rotating loads when the drive starts. Dot 08 can be enabled for a coast-to-stop function, which allows the drive to let go of the load when a stop command is given. If the load needs to stop quickly, you can utilize the drive's dynamic braking, which would require adding resistors to the drive system. Dot 18 could be enabled to allow the drive to start automatically in the event of a power outage. The P02 groups is the parameters of the motor. You will need the motor nameplate information during this process. Dot 01 sets the kilowatt rating of the motor. Don't confuse that with the horsepower rating of the motor. Dot 02 sets the motor's rated hertz. Dot 03 sets the motor's rated speed. Dot 04 sets the motor's rated voltage. And dot 05 sets the motor's rated current and amperage. The P05 group parameters are for the input terminals. The G500 drive has six digital inputs in total. By default, the digital terminals are pre-programmed for common functions. S1 is for forward running, S2 is for forward jogging, and S3 is for fault reset. If you have an external pause signal as a safety feature or part of the operator's process, use the unused input S4 and reprogram that for running pause. Dot 04 will change the function of S4, and we will adjust that to parameter 8 for a running pause command. Then we can wire the running pause signal to the S4 terminal. A 4 to 20 milliamp signal is a common speed of reference to control a drive. By default, the drive is set to a 0 to 10 volt DC analog input, so you would need to change a couple of parameters. First, go to parameter 05.50 and change that to 1 to adjust the voltage input to a current input. Then go to parameter 05.24 and change that to 2 to adjust the minimum to 4 milliamps. This would allow a 4 to 20 milliamp signal to control the drive correctly. The P06 parameter group is used to customize the output terminals. The P17 group parameter are the state check functions. This could help diagnose issues like an analog input discrepancy. If you need to reset the drive to factory default, use the parameter copy slash restore default function on the main menu. These are the most commonly used parameters on a Galt G500 drive. If you have any other questions, reach out so one of our experts can help you.